Here I will show you if you have supplier ledger after preparing PD cash book how to answer in the exam. Okay. So here we have one transition related to the PPS account PD cash. I'll show you when we answer. Okay. So before we start, we have a question. So here Shaman makes payment to Charles from his account as well as by cash. Okay. He provided the following information. So here we have three transition. November 1st, out who owed Shaban owed Jarns $165 from February. Okay. So now we see here the format. Here we have date, detail, and dollar column. These three debit columns, and same we have three on the credit side. These are credit columns. Okay. So here we have our first transition. What is written there? Shaban owed Jarns $165. Okay. Which Jarns account? With what is trade payable? Trade payable is a current liability yeah it is a liability account that means charles account is a liability account so here the balance on charles account that means it is a balance we have to pay okay that means we are liable to pay this amount it is our liability so you know liability is a credit account yeah we will write on the credit side okay so let us write here the date first 2023 march first okay so it is an opening balance we will write here balance bd bd stands for brought down okay so it is 165 dollar okay then our next transition is 13. so here all student paid jarls the amount outstanding on his account by check okay so you paid the amount owed okay we owed okay so before that, we have one more transition when we prepared the PD cash book. So many students, when you get supply ledger after preparing PD cash book, you ignore that one. Okay, you forget to write the transition we had with the transition with the PD cash transactions. Okay, but we need to write all the transitions. So now I'll tell you before you watch this video. Please watch how we prepare the PD cash book, okay? How you rec we record it, just transition on the PD cash, okay? So what was the transition? Here you, you see March 2, okay? Paid $55 to Jarns, a trade payables. So here this $55 we paid to Jarns. What was the transition? After preparing how to post this amount to the supplier ledger, okay? So here the JALS account to be debited and PT cash account to be credited. This will be the closing journal. Okay. So here now we will write 2023 March 2. We will write here PT cash book. Okay. So why PT cash book created? Once again, JALS account to be debited because JALS received these money okay so jals is a receiver so receiver account will be always debited so jals account to be debited so we come on the debit side okay and we will write the opposite account okay corresponding account so corresponding account is here pt cash book okay so we will write here pt cash so here we paid 55 dollars okay Good. So many of you don't write this transition, but it is incorrect. You will lose mark. Okay. Great. Then we can go for the next transition here. We have March 13. Pay Charles the amount outstanding on his account by check. Okay. So here you notice there is no amount. Money. How much money we paid? It is not written. Means how much money Shaban paid to Charles? It is not mentioned here. Okay, so again, this transition will be recorded on the debit side because here Jals is a receiver. So receiver account to be debited. Yeah, that means Jals account to be debited. So we will come on the debit side. Okay, so let us write here March 13. So the money is paid by bank. We will write paid, paid by check. So we will write here bank. Okay, now question is how much we will write. So Shaban owed Shaban owed $165 to Jals. Yeah. So from this 165, 
on 2nd of March through PT Cash. I want paid $55. So now how much remaining? So here the total amount owed $165 and paid $55. So if we subtract this amount, we see here $110 remaining. So Shaban has to pay this $110 to Charles. Okay, this is the amount you need to write here. Okay, this seems a bit complicated to many students, but I believe if you practice, if you understand to this tutorial, I hope you can answer in your exam properly. Okay, you will get full score, full mark. Okay, great. Then we have our next transition on the question. It is 22, March 22. Purchase goods on credit from Giles. Okay, list price is $155. Subject to a trade discount of 4%. Okay, so purchase goods from Giles. Okay, what is the journal here? Well, if you say purchase account to be debited, Giles account to be credited, you are absolutely correct. Okay, so here Giles account to be credited okay so we will not come here on the debit side now we will go to the credit side okay we will write in a detail column the corresponding account which is purchase okay so let us write the date first march 22 we will write here purchase okay so here the amount now how much we will write but if you write 150 dollar you are absolutely wrong okay incorrect don't write $150 because there is a discount, okay? Trade discount $4. So trade discount should not be written, okay? Uh, not $4, actually it is $6. So how $6? So $150, 50, 50, this is the purchase, the list price, multiplied by 4% discount, okay? So now if we multiply 150 times Four, then four percent we get here is six yeah so now this is the discount amount okay six dollar now 150 minus six we get here 144 okay so we need to write here 144 dollar okay so some of the students we will write here discount six dollars okay let us write here discount six dollar is this correct no not at all this is not correct okay this is not a cash discount this is a trade discount trade discount never appears on any box of account okay so you do not write trade discount if it is a cash discount you will write but trade discount if you see you don't write okay we recorded all the transitions nothing left now it is a requirement to balance it okay let us have a look at the question once again so what is written here prepare the account for jails as it would appear in the box of shaban okay balance the account at 31st march 2023 and bring down the balance at 1st april 2023 okay that means we need to bring down the balance okay we have to check our balance okay so first of all you need to compare this dollar column to this dollar column you need to check which column is greater in terms of value money okay so we see here the credit column is greater right so we need to sum up the credit dollar column first so let us sum up here so here our total is 309 dollar right yes so now we will take this amount to the opposite side that means debit dollar column okay so we will write here on the same level $309 okay now tell me what to do well now you need to subtract these all amounts okay from this total $309 so if we subtract we get here $144 okay so this is our closing balance okay so we will write here balance cd stands for balance carried down okay and date for balance cd will be, will be the last day of the month so we are doing for march last day is 31st so we will write here 31st okay this is time to work then it is a requirement to write balance bring down yeah so how to bring down the balance so here we carry down the balance on the debit side 
we'll go to the credit side below the total we will bring down the balance okay so here we will write balance bd bd stands for brought down okay so same amount 144 dollar we will write here and what will be, will be the date for balance bd it is written in the question first april even if not mentioned in the question you will write the first day of next month we are doing for march so next month will be april first day yeah? so we will write here 2023 april 1 okay so this is how you need to prepare a supplier ledger